Yo, what's up guys? We got Pokey in here. Today, we are back on the Pokemon Showdown Ladder playing some NU with this Toxicroak team that my boy Finch in there passed me. So, you know, I was chilling this morning in my Tim's eating a bacon, egg, and cheese, playing some Showdown on my uh, phone. I was testing out this team. It was pretty good. I think it went 2-2 two and two while I was using it. And uh, I was like, okay, that's enough for me to want to record with it. So, if you guys want to use the team, <laughs> don't believe me. Well, I, I was eating it. It was a turkey, bacon, egg, and cheese, and I was not wearing Tim's. The only Tim's we have are, there's not even any heavy-duty boots on this team. But I'll show you how my rank real quick. So we're 21 and 5 on the uh, on the ladder. And uh, yeah, for those that haven't already subscribed, that have seen my video a couple times, feel free to subscribe. We're on our way to, oh, this is actually one of the guys I played. Uh, he showed me the power of bulk up, rapid spin, um, mock punch, triple axe of him on top. I had not seen that set. It was really good, and it swept me. So... I, I misplayed versus it, but that was still really cool. So he's Swords Dance, Scale Shot, Quillfish, which is really cool. He is uh, just a standard Stealth Rock, Palaswine, uh, Banded Decidueye, uh, Toxic, Standard Miltang, and this is like Culver Berry. So I'm going to lead off a basket in here and just click Liquidation. But yeah, we're on our way to 300k, which is pretty cool. Uh, and I'm going to use what I learned from this guy to, to play versus him. So he leads off with Rotom this time. Uh, pretty easy flip turn here, I would say. Uh, my expendable member is my Stunfisk, so I'm going to make the um, I'm going to make the Stunfisk play on this and attempt just to get up rocks and, and chip away at my opponent uh, because my Tangela should be able to deal with him on top, should be able to deal with the Sidueye as they end up going right into Mill Tank here, and this is great because this allows me to get off a Toxic immediately with Clefairy. Uh, maybe on something like I was not going to say Quillfish, but. Uh, they end up going right out the Quillfish here. So Volley Dark should be able to eat every hit it goes for. And uh, even if they want to go for Scale Shot from there, I'll be able to beat them with um, Toxic Coke. But uh, we're just going to go right for the Multi Attack here on Palaswine. I don't mind them doing this, especially because, like I said, I want to try and get up Rocks with my Stunfisk on this guy. Uh, since that's going to be nice for chipping away at these because so Volley Dark is very, very good. Just offensively, it's super good. Um, and I'm happy that, you know, to be in this position with it. So we're gonna entangle here. And we'll just go right for knockoff. Uh, knockoff allowing me to get rid of the Sap Super Mill Tank's Rocky Helmet. I crit like everything, man. Nice stop. Uh, and allowing me to get in my Stun Fist here, which actually walls this to an extent and can get up Stealth Rock in its face. Uh, if he wants to try and sweep me with him on top immediately, I guess that is possible, but oh he has body press. I did not see that before. Alright, so I definitely just straight up wall with uh with Clefairy here. I'll protect just in case he wants to double considering Clefairy has come in a, a million times on this thing and I, now I know that I know that young uh, young Toxic Girl can deal with this. He ends up switching out into Quillfish which is way better for me because I get a free Dark Pulse on my opponent's team. And that's not something they end up switching into as they go right for Scale Shot which does absolutely a lot. What the hell? I forgot it's a, I was about to say it does nothing at first but this is still fine for Silvalli Dark, especially because um, I simply just go out to Basculin and, and just click Flip Turn here and attempt to knock you out. Uh, and getting rid of Quillfish means that Clefairy answers are very limited. <laughs> All good. Yeah, we played on mobile and I uh, I won two Speed Ties and dodged a Scale Shot um, last time we played. So uh, Silvalli Dark is still okay. Tangela. Did I not show you that last time? I probably didn't show him that last time then. Yeah, no reason to not go Clefairy here. If they go out into Decidueye, I can just switch. Or I can just stack, sack my Stunfisk, which does absolutely nothing. And uh, attempt to beat the attempt to beat the hit on top 1v1. Because I get in Silvalli Dark after, and I can just click uh, the, the multi-attack. I just gotta be very careful because him on top is a threat. Him on top is a threat, but I'm gonna get every bit of recovery back. And then bring out Young Tangela here on the crash, eat that up, and just go right for a Leaf Storm. If they go him on top after, I'll be able to deal with that, and I can safely go right out into Clefairy here on this Pokemon. It's it's not really like a double that I'm worried about, considering there's not much he can do back to me. If they want to status me, so be it. You know, if they want to defog, I can get up rocks again. I don't I don't actually care. And I definitely don't want to let him Volt Switch around for free. So uh, my uh, I unfortunately dodge a Willowist there. 
I don't mind them even trying to spin later. Because I, I would rather I would rather Stunfist die here in an attempt to just beat the uh, Rotom. But I also don't want to give them offensive momentum now. So I'm going to go Silvali Dark. Even if they burn me or go for Defog, so be it. Uh, I'll be able to knock them out with the multi-attack through Cobra Berry, which I know they have. And then Hitmonchan, him on top is going to come out. Or, okay, they end up making the Miltank play. We can just U-turn in front of that uh, and bring out my Clefairy on the body press. And safely just click Toxic as Mammal Swine comes out. Or Palace Swine, rather, excuse me. And so, like I said, this is not too much of a threat as long as I don't get flinched to death. Hmm. All right, just, just don't get flinched. Thank you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to risk it one more time. Perfect. So I get the best case scenario there. I'm at 100%. Uh, as long as I'm not allowing him on top to sweep me, I'm good. I don't want them to be weakness policy either, which I think they are. Uh, and we'll just sack my stun fist here. Because I can sleep powder him on top as they go for spirit shackle. Perfect. Let them to a KO me. Go ahead. Right out to you we go. Just going to click multi-attack here and not bother predicting at all. Because young uh, Michael Ferry is a wall. Well, Toxic now. They might go to Sidui and U-turn. But I'm basically, like, I don't care about their heal bells. I don't care at all about any of that stuff. I do like Tangela, considering it doesn't let him on top come in immediately. And I'll just Sludge Bomb, as Miltank is more than likely going to go for heal bell anyway. I'll probably get 30% poison too. Nice. Alright, to Clefairy we go, and we can just start clicking Moonblast now. The all toxic ones, because they'll just they'll just softball it on me. They can't. This shouldn't be able to beat me. Sucks I lost Toxicroak, but yeah, we Moonblast here. Every bit of damage on you is gonna matter. Because Toxicroak obviously would have been useful in this scenario, and we'll just wish the Sidui comes out. That doesn't matter. Tangle, I choose you. <laughs> it gets right back up to full. And I'm not going to lose to their hit on top. I don't think I will because I can land Sleep Powder. Alright, so they're getting a little bit impatient here. Nice. So, that's what I'm talking about. Like, in this scenario, they're obviously going to want to go for the... Uh, this first game is going to be a little bit long. My bad, guys. They're going to want to go for Heal Belt. I'll still Toxic. They only have six heal bells left. And I can just Moonblast considering it doesn't let in anything. Uh, if they want to allow me to weaken them here, I'll take it as I can safely softballed up anyway. And then again, uh, every single time I hit Decidueye with Moonblast, I'm good. Every single time I hit him on top of Moonblast, I'm good. Because it's not like they're doing any damage to me. And it's not like uh, Tangela really cares too much. About Spirit Shackle, exactly. We'll just go for knockoff here, getting rid of their choice ban. One more time. Let's see if we can land this. So I go Basculin because they're at 82. I just click Liquidation. I think it 2 AK has, I'm not sure if it 2 AK has Melt Tank, but I just need damage on this Pokemon to the point where Clefable can knock it, uh, Clefairy can knock it out. Um, and at that point, I would say that Silvali plus Clefairy wins. So we're just going to go for another one. Let them knock me out there. I'll go right for Moonblast here. What if they're King's Rock? Yeah, that I don't think there's anything they could do. I don't think from this position there's anything they can do to win. So I'm surprised they're still playing. Considering now Moonblast definitely knocks out what I'm assuming to be a weakness policy set. Toxic once more. All I got to do is wait for them to do it. They, they don't win from this position. They do not. It's not like I ever have to. All I needed was that damage on him on top. That's why I went for that. So, perfect. They decided to throw them on away. Because I definitely don't die to this. It's not Life Orb. It's not Choice Ban. Good game, dude. Nice. So, we're able to knock him out. Uh, I had a really fun uh, run back right there, which is cool. That was a 61 turn game, my gosh. Hopefully in the next one, Toxic Croak is just able to... Let me show my rank as that one as well. I don't, I don't know if it upped, but it just takes so long. 
to, to get him back. But I'll pause it, guys, until we find another battle. We'll be right back. It took a little while. Back with game two. I'm actually 1365 after that game. My opponent has so many strong Pokemon. That's all they have. That's all I see. Strong Pokemon. All of them. Look at that Persian. Strong. Uh, Basilin's going to be able to flip turn versus them. Tangela hopefully can deal with the majority of their team, whereas Toxicroak, once it comes out, it kind of gets a kill. Hmm. But I think Tangela is honestly better. Tangela's a really good wall in this game, that's for sure. Might have to revise my thumbnail considering I put Toxic Rope on it already. Basculin gives me the early uh, lead advantage here. Um, especially versus something like a Lolan Duggy. I can just flip turn the hell on out of there and not really have to worry about that. Um, I'm assuming if they're not Focus Sash lead, which I think they are with rocks, uh, they'll go out into one of their water types. Now they are focused, actually. As expected. My hair! <laughs> Tangela. <laughs> Tangela doesn't care about Memento. It doesn't care about anything. I just click knock off here. Uh, I get rid of Doug Trio. They really hate this Pokemon. This Mon is just wait. My hair! I'm all hair! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's just... <laughs> I was just thinking of burning jealousy meat. Yo, sit down. No, my violin! <laughs> It's crazy because this mod is still stupid good versus them as well. Which is Sludge Bomb here as it hits Flapple um, upon switching, which seems to be the most likely member. And as you can see, Tangela also just doesn't care at all, uh, like at all about what they want to do. Uh, dual Wing Beat, Young Tangela, even without an Aviolite, is able to basically three, deal with three Pokemon: Dugtrio, Flapple, and uh, and, uh, and and Persian. Uh, Gore Guys comes out, which is actually. Do they have Fire Blast? Because they can't hit me with Poltergeist. Huh. Uh, Stunfish deals with that. Honestly, Clefairy looks very expendable. Yeah, they couldn't have hit me that turn. So I'm going to keep that in mind next time. We'll just click Toxic here, considering it hits two out of three Pokemon. Persian's already... A I'm surprised you went Persian. I'll just be able to Moonblast you right now. I'll, I'll go ahead and deal with you, bro. If you knock me off, you know you also cannot deal with my, my Pokemon in, in general. Um, yeah, Tangela might have to be the, the wave here. I have a straight up counter to you, which is Stunfisk. And I just click Stealth Rock with it. Uh, mainly because we break Sturdy and whatnot. There's no point in Earthquaking considering one of their switches is a resist. And there's nothing Togedomar can do to me. Maybe it can reverse though, but yeah, they go out to the resist. Uh, I'm assuming this might be choice in some sort of way. I'll scout. Might as well see what it's going to do. Ooh, Fire Blast. So maybe it's not choice. Uh, I still don't want to bring out Savali because it's a it's a dark type that doesn't have a switching. So I'll go Clefairy here, considering Tangle, I might still be able to wall this thing. Yeah, do your damage to me, buddy. I'll just Moonblast as a Shadow Sneak. And like I said, they have no Dark Resist, so we bring out Savali. We click that multi-attack here. And we get a kill, essentially. This should die unless it's Colbert. Oh my gosh, it ate. Yo, that did so much damage. Shadow Sneak doesn't kill me, though, unless they crit. Which I'm not even sure it kills me then, but it's not. Toxio just comes out and, uh, yeah, they did crit me, <laughs> but it still didn't kill me. Not bad. So we're going to Gore, guys. Uh, Basculin, again, I'm not that worried about. This Mon, can you turn on me? I'll still go Stunfish just because I can save this as a sack for Basculin since I don't know what move it wants to go for. And then I can bring out Tangela and click Sleep Powder, if anything. And we'll just sack Sovali instead of clicking Protect, though there's not really much setup they can go for. Yo, you're... Okay, they, that's actually an arguably worse play because now I just click Earthquake on a team with no resist. So that double, they obviously expected me to go out into something like Tangela there for Togemaru to U-turn on. But now they're bringing in, they're bringing in Basculin on an Earthquake. Now Stunfist might not be the strongest Pokemon, and yeah, I'm, that, there's nothing else in that sentence. That did 48 from a, a base 100, 150 after stab move. Garbage out of here. Oh, that's so sad, man. They can't deal with me. They have to Iron Head now. They keep trying to predict one of my three counters in the back. Oh, that is so sad. Yeah, don't let him do that. Don't let him do that. I have to go for Hydro Pump. Oh, there's Specs. Good. Good, good, good. Toxic Girl gets to come out and just Sludge Wave them back. And they are modest as well. So, good game. Once again, we'll pause it until we find another battle. Uh... I'll be right back. All right, guys, we found another game, and I mean, they look 6-0 by Nasty Plot Toxic Oak. I think I just, I, I literally think I click it, but uh, Pukamuku was a problem for me, that's for sure. Clefairy will help me deal with that because they have 
Not very much I can deal with Toxic on their team. Maybe like Sub Drifloon and whatnot. Oh, there you go. Didn't get too many points from that last one. Uh, Toxic looks very good. Tangela just clicking knockoff on everything looks great. Hopefully this is dealt with by this Pokemon, but I'm not honestly sure because like Drifloon is a problem, man. <laughs> Drifloon is definitely a problem. They have one Dark Resist, which is good for Silvali. I think I just love Tangela in this game. It's just way too good. Oh, they decided the same. So this is interesting because I don't want to lose my Violet, but at the same time, I still wall the exact same Pokemon even if I do lose it. So I'm going to go for knockoff here uh, and exchange of Violets there. And then let's see if they uh, they like this Sludge Bomb coming out after. They did not. <laughs> they died. Great. So Tangela being gone is amazing for um, my Basculin. Now they only have Thwacky, but I still deal with it even with, like, look at my stats. My stats are still good, right? Forget my Spadef. I wasn't eating any Spadef anyway. But that's still amazing. Uh, Creamy comes out. I think hard Toxicroak makes the most sense. Because I, I don't get to show if I'm physical or not. And then we make a double right here into Silvali, which deals with the two Pokemon that should come in on that mod. Exactly. And we simply just click multi-attack. Now I'm not worried about this Pokemon either. I can just U-turn and get up rocks in its face. I just want to make sure I can do it all creamy. Uh, we'll go stun face even if they go for like soak or whatever they go for toxic i'm good i just click stealth rock here this could be defog on drift blimp and then we bring out clefairy which gets to click toxic at the same time you can go ahead and soak me all you want my ability stays the same and we just click toxic so if they let me toxic pikamuku uh toxic can win toxic can win i can also just get so many kills with young uh Tangela here and honestly dude this doesn't have an item so they can't even poltergeist me anymore I have a choice band now. I'm okay with this. <laughs> I will 2 a KO you. That still did nothing. I just didn't want to allow Drifloon to come in. Uh, this mod's still very good, so I'm, I'm not going to stay in here. I'll make the Silvali play. If they opt to go for um, Earthquake, that would have been a great play, but they didn't, so I can U-turn out, which hopefully uh, picks up the KO here. Just keeping up offensive momentum and really just wanting to get my Tangela back. I had this much health after regen? My god. Okay, so we'll make the Toxic Rogue play. Because if they go Drift them, I can at least Dark Pulse them. Uh, Clefairy still beats a lot of their team. And this doesn't allow Al Creamy to come out either. Uh, so this is Heavy Duty Boots. You know what? Let me just Nasty Fly. I'm assuming they're just going to default. They Shadow Balled. I bet you if I click Focus Blast here, I'm good, but I'm still clicking Dark Pulse because this mod is a threat. Yeah, a threat and a half. Maybe they didn't expect it, but they gave me Drifloon, which is something that could come in on Tangela. Pikumuku comes out, and now I just safely click uh, Toxic with this Pokemon and beat every mod with their team. Yay! <laughs> Ooh, you're not going to like these Choice Band Sludge Bomb. <laughs> well, they don't even matter, man. Young Tangela, don't even... Hey, knock me off, please. I'm, uh, hey, hey, you better knock me off right now because Tangela just does not care, man. It really doesn't. It do not care. Let's go ahead and deal with this. I can still Leaf Storm the, uh, the Pikamuku because it's unaware. Al uh, Creamy comes out. Hmm. I like Clefairy. I think I just clicked Toxic. And I should win. Because they're probably calm my recover. We just click Toxic now. Yeah, nice, nice. All right, awesome. It's actually taking a little while to get these games, unfortunately. But uh, I will pause it until... Where are we? Oh, same thing. So I'll show the update. I'll pause until we find another one. I'll be right back. All right, so we have another game. And Tangela Walls, one, two, three, potentially four Pokemon on their team. So good Pokemon here. Uh, Toxic Girl can deal with a lot of their team between Nasty Plot and just attacking. If I hit Focus Blast, I can knock out Sam. So I might just go for it because I haven't done it once in this. And uh, Basculin is a phenomenal lead because their water resist is this thing and their own Basculin. So I love this Pokemon because I can just flip turn. Uh, they end up bleeding off with their Basculin as they find my Choice Scarf. I wonder if they're Choice Scarf too. I'm just going to flip turn if they're not um, because Tangela doesn't care if it gets burnt. I mean, if they trick me, it's a problem, but oh, they have Toxic. Oh, that's annoying. I'm just gonna knock off the item on something coming in. Now, this mod is a this mod is a little bit annoying. They have no item. Oh, is there? Oh, okay. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, I can wish pass, which is nice. Um, which I will go for right now. 
uh, considering they should go out into potentially Garbodor or Clefairy. And this means that I have one or two things. They might teleport, but Stunfish lets me get up rocks. I'm not worried about Sansa. The fact that I, that I got Toxic is very sad there. So Volley Dark is still good here too. They have no item. That's cool. I'll right, we'll make the Stunfisk play. Even if they want to teleport out into Sand Slash. Or even if they go Sand Slash here, that's still a good trade to force a Rapid Spin. And I can bring out Tangela here as a knockoff. And I'll just Leaf Storm. I'm not going to predict. If they, if they want to Rapid Spin now, I will take this Pokemon from them. That does so much damage, man. Yo. Still going to go for Toxic here. As they go Garbodor, I can defog which is nice unless they're stomping tantrum i'm gonna assume that toxico can smack them so i'll make the toxico play here do they have stomping tantrum damn so okay this gets a little bit annoying because i don't want to lose to their their clefairy but i also don't want to switch from this position either so i rather just attack straight up yeah, I'd much rather just have attacked right there and make the, the Stunfist play. They can Earthquake, but I could always go Tangless. I don't know if they would go for Earthquake exactly. Fake Out makes a lot more sense. Oh, earthquake as they end up going Sand Slash. Wow, I'm being put down by Hazards. Uh, I, I can't Defog yet, which is annoying too. Mm. Okay, Tangle is still my play. I'm still Leaf Storming. I don't care. I want to force them to recover because I can bring out Silvali and at least start defogging away. Their Kangaskhan being at 20% is nice, uh, but I'm not getting enough out of this, especially because they were stopping Tantrum. They max attack? Yo! Phenomenal play on my opponent's part. Phenomenal play. For sure, phenomenal play. I basically just went out to Basculin just to, to bluff Ice Beam, and that didn't even 2 KO Baskin, are you kidding me? I bet you Specs Hydro Pump destroys me too. I'm still going for it. I need to get a kill. Dude, this is not doing any damage to any of their Pokemon. The good thing is if I kill this and Clefable, well Clefable, Clefairy can win. So I'm going to go for it again. Attempting to knock them out. Yeah, they're just going to spike, that way I died to Rocky Helmet plus Aftermath. Um, now Hazards don't matter when it comes to Clefairy, but at this point I don't, I don't see myself like coming back from this. Do they still hate this Pokemon? So I'll go for it. Especially because I got young Tangela right here. Ooh, do I die? Oh my god, Tangela, you beast. Uh, unfortunately though, I'm not seeing my, my win con just yet. Because of all the hazards. But Clefairy still is alright. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Perfect. Go ahead and saw ball up one more time. As they go clef. I will make the Sunfist play because they can't... I'm, I'm going to Earthquake immediately because they can't... Uh, if I get Stealth Rock up, Kangaskhan will die. So I don't want to let them get that play. And I'm hoping that between uh, Clefairy and everything else, I should be okay. What do you go for here? Yeah, I'm clicking rocks because there's no way they go for that again. All right, let's try it. Let's try it. The comeback starts now. I sack Basculin, get in Clef. Attempt to click Toxic here. I mean, I could try and Wish Pass. Shoot, why not? I'll force, I'll, I'll, I'll get like a million drops on you. That way I can pass the Toxic Grove if possible. Baskin will die, I think, if it comes in. Give me more. Give me more drops. They're not trying to let my Toxic go in. Man, I should, I should have just not gotten greedy and tried to set up on that Clefairy. I got another drop, which is nice. I'm making the play. Let's go. Let's go.
I didn't think they'd attack me there, but hopefully I live. Yes, I do. Let's go, baby. Nice little sludge wave comes right out. I'm still sludge waving again. They should sack something and then bring this mon out. And yeah, they do sack Basculin to bring out Gorgeist, but it might come down to a speed tie. But they won every speed tie before, so I don't know if it will. I tried. I could softball up here. They know that. I'm a Moonblast again on the Clefairy coming in. Let's get it, baby. Don't you dare crit me. That's what we call a comeback, baby. Come on, don't you dare crit me. Moonblast at 38%. Let's go, baby. Good game. That's what we call a comeback. Hey, leave a like for that comeback, guys. That's a little taste of Pokemon. I'm sorry, I got hype because I did not see my way of winning, but I played for it. I played for it and we got it. Woo! Let's go, baby. Let's go. Hey, my, the fact that my boy. One of the turning uh, points was the fact that they gave up Sand Slash there. Tangle up without an Violet was able to eat it at 28%. So, I'll pause until we find another game, guys. We'll be right back. Wait, where's my ranking? 1386. Okay, it hasn't updated yet. But I'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back. And, man, why does everything beat Tangle up? <laughs> it actually doesn't. Tangle up beats this, can beat this, can sleep out of this, can beat this, can beat this, can beat this. So, let's see where our rank is now. 1409, not bad. Uh, I love Tangela early. I simply, I mean, I like rocks in this game too, because Stumpfist comes in on you and you. I like early rocks as well. I just don't want to lose to this Pokemon, but I feel like, what am I saying, bro? Basculin is just phenomenal as a lead. It's a no predict lead. That's why I like it. I'm just going to flip turn here, and uh, now we decide are they special or not. Tangela, I choose you. L live a hit. They were special, but I do have the Leaf Storm here, and I am going to click it, because their resist gets sludge bombed anyway. And this is a, a not max special attack variant. That scald this so much damage. I didn't want them having Earthquake, which is why I didn't end up bringing out my uh, my Toxic Growth there. We'll knock off the Violet on Clefairy. Clean. And I'd just rather get up rocks in front of them too, because I don't think there's much they can do to Sunfist. Um, them knocking me off is... Hopefully I don't lose to... to, to no, nah, I can't even lose to Scarf this. I shouldn't be able to. There's an earthquake here. Their resist is flapple. I could also just go Tangela and hit him, but yeah. Yo, you look so pathetic before you, you start schooling people. Let's see what they have. Scald Earthquake, you turn. Protect. Did I get knocked off yet? I did not get knocked off. Why did I assume I get knocked off? Perfect. So this should be a sleep powder for me. I'm just going to click Sludge Bomb just in case they're crazy and try and go Flapple. No. Forget predicting. I don't need to. I don't need to. I'm going to click Sludge Bomb. Oh, sleep powder, excuse me. Uh, the fact that, like, if they go Toxic Rogue or something, it's better for me if I land a sleep powder. Is this called Protector's U turn? Is that what this thing runs? They go Clefairy, which is nice. I miss, which is not nice. I like my own Clefairy being able to wish past everything. Honestly, forget this life orb on my Toxic Oak. I'm gonna try and win this game right now. I'm getting, I'm getting annoyed at you. Oh my God, my opponent was like, yeah, I'm doing the same, bro. Shoot, let's do it. I think I won't do it in front of you. Let's go. Focus Blast. Send him flying. Only Focus Blast I've clicked all game. I better I better hit this. So we get rid of that giant threat there. Beautiful. And now they're like, oof, what do I even do here? Let me just Sludge Wave as they are Earthquake. Are they Scarf? or Okay, they're Life Orb. Wow. Wait a second. I bet you Tangle eats every hit. But I'll bring out Basculin here. I'm screaming that I have Psychic Fangs, but I do not care. I do not care from this position. I, I don't care. What are you? What are you? 
I just have to be very careful because that Toxic Cook is a threat. Yeah, it's gonna come back in. But Tangela still walls one, potentially two. Losing Toxic Cook kind of sucks. Because of that, but I had a Focus Blast, so I'm very happy. Hmm. Keep you alive. Make the Toxic Cook play. Is mixed? I'll live, uh, I'll live a Focus Blast too. I think I'll live every hit. I'll be honest. I did Earthquake multiple times. Shoot. You ain't gonna do any damage back to me. I'm gonna soft but I'll do some damage back. I'll get in Conflable and I'll Wish Pass right back out to that thing. It's mixed. Which is pretty cool. Uh, so we'll Wish Pass. As they go Togo tomorrow, I, I have my counter already. But honestly, I'd rather get in Tangela because Tangela is a Pokemon that shouldn't die to... I mean, it might die to a Sludge Bomb, I guess, at this percentage. It might. I'll make the Sunfist play one more time. Because Tangela can also just knock off Togo tomorrow and make me beat it 1v1 too. Luckily, they're not Wish on theirs. If they Earthquake, you're a great play. Nice. Oof, I did not live their Focus Blast. Still making the Psychic Fangs play. Trying to be safe versus this beast. Okay, I just don't want to let them get in Toxic Oak. But I, I think I'm going to have to let them. And then use Silvalli to knock them out. Because if I Moonblast in front of the... Because this Mon... Well, that thing... Even without its Violet, it be eating hits. Tangela, I choose you. I wish I hit the Sleep Powder on Uncle Fairy. Perfect. Let's sleep out of here. Then I'll make the Silvalli Dark play. Uh, if they if they opt to stay in, I'll U-turn as they go out to Persian, which is nice. This gives me Clefairy in a position where I can just click Wish in front of Toxicroak. And now I got this. I'm, I'm still making the Silvalli play. If had they focus blast, whatever. I'm gonna keep up offensive momentum here. Let's flip turn kill. It better kill. Oh shoot! You know what? I cannot allow them to get in Toxic Oak for free. I'm gonna click Zero Power. <laughs> yeah, if they go there and they get the recovery, I, I just basically threw away everything I had. You know? Flapple comes out. They call me Young Demon. Bro, why don't you sit down? Sit down, man. This is Tangela. And if you go for Outrage, man, sit down. This is Tangela. This is Tangela, buddy. You better sit down, not in front of him. Yeah, you bet. Oh, for sure. Damn, Poke Egg just hatched. Hmm. Okay, I'd say you're the useless one. Just click multi attack here. It's like Cycle Fairy has already burnt to turn asleep, but. Okay, I think Sewer Power wins me the game. Oh, especially because they didn't wake up there. That's great. So, I mean, it, it probably came down to sleep turns, at, at least from that position. Tangela will always be able to eat at least one hit from uh, Token Amaru. So I'll make the play, even if they go out into Toxic Oak here. Perfect. Now we just click Sewer Power. I don't know if they have priority. But yeah, all I have to do is do this, click sewer power here. And then if Toxic comes out, I just stay and click sewer power and Tangela still came in and walled everything. Good game, bro. Woo, shout out to young Tangela. Hey, and Bass Killing put in some work. Hope y'all enjoyed. Of course, if you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. First good player I've played against in a while. Appreciate that. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, that's a little bit sad about NU. Guys, play NU. <laughs> but again, if y'all enjoy, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Um, of course, check out the, uh, the team at PokeMD.com. The link is down below. Ten this video was originally supposed to be a Toxic Oak video. It was. But, um, see, this is why I don't show the ranking because it just takes 10,000 years to show. I'm trying to move on and keep playing Pokemon. We didn't drop a game though this live, which is cool. And I even got revenge on somebody that I lost when I was playing on mobile. So that's really nice. Um, but, and, and we got to see Scale Shot, Cool Fish, which I think is so cool for, uh, yeah, there you go, there you go, 1427. Uh, which is so cool for a draft. 
But yeah, hope y'all enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.